Hey guys, I hope you're having a good one. So it's finally here. I'm really happy about this. We have Airfix's 148 scale Bristol Bulldog Mark II. Now we have three schemes, the paints. So you could use this list right now, pause it and purchase the paints before you buy the kit. Two flying hours, uh, skill level three. So if that's your thing, get it. And a bit about the plane. So pause here and have a good read. It's still sealed, so I've got to cut it open. I can't wait. Let's crack it open. Right, let's check what it looks like inside. We have our sprues in one bag. The clears ain't, though. They've been at least separated so they don't get scuffed and scratched. Instruction booklet and these fantastic decals. Oh, sheep. Look how great they look. You can just see how good they are from there. We'll start off with the sprues. Before we start, what we normally do on this channel, we'll have a look at the sprue as a whole, and then we'll bring it up for a closer look for small detail and stuff like that. At any point, pause the video, for example here, if you want a better look from a distance and just see how the sprue's laid out and stuff like that. I'll bring it up and we'll start in this corner. It's already given everything fits vibes, just by this first sprue. It looks really crisp. This is making me very happy. Worth the wait. From what I'm seeing with the first sprue, I know I'm jumping the gun, but they do look good. Turn it over for the connecting points. Let's turn it back over. I'm going to grab it now and pick it up and have a look. See, look, look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Really nice. That's come out fantastic. There's a tiny bit of flash there and there, but that's a couple of seconds with exact knife and it's off. Sprue D. The next one we have Sprue E. Bring it up. We'll go along. I do like this plastic that Airfix has got lately. Connecting points. Not much detail to look at here. But these are just connecting points, so you're not going to see nothing. Stating the obvious there. Right. They're nice. I mean, look at five. This is just really good. There's nothing needed to be said. That's Sprue E. The next one will be Sprue C. Oh, look at that detail. I cannot wait to get to the engine. And it clears my obsession. Mm. 
this is going to be a good sprue for close-ups. Fantastic. Connecting points. Good. There's so much detail. This will be a lovely looking model. Right, let's have a better look. Look at number 39. Look at that. Forty and forty one. Yeah, just a little bit of flash on the wings, but that is it. I found nothing so far. No more flash at this point. Number 22. I said there was a lot of detail. 25 and 24. Crisp. So we can say it's crisp. Number 12. You look at the level detail number 13. Paintbrush heaven. For the price, this is really good work. That is spruce C. Oh, we've got the fuselage. This is Spirit A. Look how good it looks. Sorry, I get carried away. You know, I've, I've said this before, I'm a nerd. I'm not gonna apologize for it. But let's bring it up. There's nothing needed to be said, this is just yeah. Oh, that's engine. This is my bit. Here's a fuselage. I hope you're getting a good look at that. Turn over for connecting points. A little bit of detail here and here. But not much, but I'm assuming you'll pile it in as you build up. The inside look. Right, let's pick it up. Turn over here. Here's, this is obviously the interior for the cockpit. 
that's why it's very basic in here. You can hear it, listen. Nice and deep. Well done. This is all, what's this one? Screw B. Start across here. We go down along the wings. I think the wings will be the most part that will give you the the hassle, the aggravation. Because it's make them line up, and you could do rigging. Connecting points. Like I said on this channel, we will show you everything we can. Some people love it, some people hate it, but we're not going to change. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, it appears this is the last sprue besides the clears. But yeah, that was the only the front, the first sprue that had that little bit of flash. And that's, I'm just being picky. That is all the sprues except from the clears. So it's just clears now. Be careful, I don't want to overwhelm you with clear parts. I'm joking. It's obvious it's the aircraft itself. Um, get the micro set. Try and look at the set. Yeah, they're good. Did you see that? Like it splinters out. I don't know what that is. Can you see it? Try and get it in the light. There. That way. From there. That's the clears. We've got instructions. Let's zoom it in. We'll have a look at the specifications. We have a different languages here. Turn the page, we have more specifications and languages, assembly instructions, and assembly icon instructions. You'll probably need to remember them. Now construction begins. We'll work our way down and across and then back down. So, step one. We start off with the cockpit straight away. Now you see that level of detail is on about, especially here, it's going to really build up. Got decals here. That's going to be fantastic. Page four. Put the fuselage together. We have some options here.
then the wings start to go on. Or the top, no, the bottom one. Let's make sure that's level. Page five. Oh, is this the engine? Is it? No. Page six. This could be a plane that you could easily mess up if you don't pay attention. And I could do that, I could see myself doing that. Here's your options here. So you could have them facing downwards or upwards. We're getting ready to put the top one on. Page seven. Yeah, I guess it makes sense to have it upside down and put it on that way. Now about to get the plane standing up. Page eight, here we go, here we go. This is the bit I wanted. This is for me. Where are we? There we go. So cool. If that's done right, oh, it's gonna be fantastic. Look at that. Page nine. Taking shape at this point. Page 10. Oh God, it's rigging. Holy rigging. Oh God, look at that. Have fun with that. I might attempt it, I might not. I'll probably use guitar strings or something. I think that, yeah, look at that. You pull it off, it'll look badass. Page 11. Page 12. This is for the guys who are interested in the rigging. If not, I would skip. Page 13. Okay, the cool part, schemes. So we have scheme A. We'll start here. The paint you'll need. Now scheme B. Pause it if you want a better look. God, I'm fighting this book right now. Here we go. The paints you'll need if you want to build this one. We have a third one, which is ski C. and the paint you'll need. Right, it is time for the decals. If we are unlucky enough to find any blemishes on these decals, I'd be very shocked. But to be honest, if you did, 
um, 99% of the time, Airfix, I would assume, would replace them. They're very good with stuff like that. So I'll pick up and we'll go across. And I'm not shocked. They're perfect. Yeah, they're super crisp. Ten out of ten. Well, from me anyway. Okay, that is the model kit. This is going to be a great build at some point. I will see you guys on Sunday. Well, I'll see the vintage guys on Sunday. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.